Hi, I want to know what you think about all the Black Friday emails. And, you know, gratuitous shopping in general. So I'm gonna do some makeup, put this together, and talk about it. So if you wanna keep going, keep going. If you don't, hope you have a great day. See ya. Well, I think we should talk about the Black Friday emails that we get and the shopping that they're inducing us to do. Conservatively, I've deleted 150, 200 emails telling me all about Black Friday and these are all from different people and companies and all the things. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fine. I signed up for emails from these companies However, I have now unsubscribed to most of them. Most of them go to my junk. Well, not my junk, but you know when you have Gmail, you have primary and you have um, promotions. That's it. So most of them go to the promotions, which is fine. And I delete them. But then I think about how easy it would be to just click on every single one of them and say, oh, I would love to have that. Oh, would I ever like to have that? Oh, Oh my goodness do I ever like that and you know at the end of the day we have to just kind of I think be careful with the consumerism like why question so so what I do now I'm trying to use cognitive behavioral therapy I'm on very fancy and say listen do you need this or do you just want to buy it because it's on sale or are you buying it because you get a free gift or you know like I have so much stuff that it's beyond the point where like I have things that I've forgotten that I have and I go oh my gosh look at that so to me it becomes almost gluttonous like I don't need any more stuff and then you know at what point do you say like enough is enough you know what I mean I bought some things in the Sephora sale and I bought some things for Black Friday but I will admittedly say that the things I bought I only bought because they were on sale not because I needed them absolutely didn't need one of the things that I bought however you know a couple of things I bought whoops so a couple things that I bought, I bought to support the brand because I really like the brands. Um, so that's, you know, that's sort of a eh, yes and no. Do you do that? Do you not do that? I don't know. I do that. You know, I want to support a brand um, and they were on sale and things like that. Small brands, right? Small, new, up and coming brands, um, smaller indie brands. So yeah, so that, that I'm okay with. So a couple brands that I bought stuff from, um that are smaller brands. So KJH brand is a new brand from the celebrity makeup artist Katie Jane Hughes. And she came out with a hyper shine kit like in September, I guess. And I did buy one. I bought the light gold. And then I purchased in the sale because she had a 25% off sale for Black Friday. I did the pink one. So that's coming in the mail. So another brand that I that I support, that's a small indie brand, they're Canadian, is um, a brand called Phytosurgeons. And they make their cosmetics like in their house. It's just craziness. Anyway, they're amazing. They, they put out a, um, four new blush shades and I picked up two and they were really kind to me and they sent me one of their, um, they have a new brush that they did for their bronzer. So they sent that to me. So I was really happy to have that. So. Brands like that, and then the other small brand that I, the other small brand that I decided to support is Rose and Ben Beauty. She's a huge influencer, but I think her brand is fairly new, so she has a brand of brushes. She was, they were kind enough to send me a set of their original brushes, and so they came out with now a travel set, so I purchased those. Um, so things like that on sale, I don't feel as sort of gluttonous, I guess, about, but 
other things like you just and I, I you know there's just things that I have in my collection I just don't need any more stuff you know so that's where I'm at right now and listen I'm not judging anybody for doing for shopping or you know buying what buy whatever you want it's your money I don't care I'm just saying for me I'm trying to be more conscious like conscious consumerism right like being more aware of what I'm buying not even so much what I'm buying, but why am I buying it? Why am I buying this? Why am I buying these brushes? Because I love makeup brushes. Um, but is that a good enough reason to buy something? I have. It's a ridiculous amount of brushes that I have. And I'm blessed to have them. I'm blessed to be able to, to be able to spend money on things that I really, really want. However, there, there has to be a line. Like, there has to be a limit of on what you buy and why like just in my mind again no judgment do whatever you want I, I don't care I'm not it's up to you it's your money for me it's it's just trying to be aware of why so I think that cognitive behavioral therapy is about being aware of your thoughts and trying to change them so if you get an email that says this is on sale, you know, it's 30% off and you get a free gift and it's free shipping. Do you buy it just because the shipping is free, the it's 30% off and you get a free gift? Or are you buying it because you actually need to have it? Because then you get it and you kind of have buyer's regret. Like, why did I buy that? I didn't need it. So it was 30% off, free shipping, all the things. I didn't need to have this. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah, so I guess, I don't know, I guess what I'm trying to say is I realized that for me personally, the reasons that I buy things are more about um, soothing something in myself. Like if I'm not, in, if I'm in a crappy mood or, you know, I, I'll go, I'll start shopping and, I, and that immediate gratification of knowing that this thing that you bought is coming and it's like, oh, I'm so excited. And you know, that's what I do. And I don't, I don't think it's a good thing. I think it needs to, I think I need to change my shopping behavior. So I'm gonna work really hard on doing that. It's for the rest of this, for the rest of 2023 and going into 2024, I, my plan is to only buy things that I need to re, restock, like that I don't have any more of. Um, like certain face creams, things like that. If I get gifts, that's fine. If I get PR, that's fine. Um, I'm just not going to buy any more. I mean, who knows what I'm going to do really at the end of the day. But my plan is to not buy any more things just for the sake of buying them. Just for saying, oh, I like to have that. I'm going to buy it. Instead of looking at what I've got and going, Audrey, you just don't need that. Why, you know, are you buying it only because it's on sale or because some famous person said, oh, this is amazing, but you have 25 other of those things already in your collection. Do you know what I mean? Like just because someone says it's amazing, I'm sure it's amazing. Does that mean I have to have it? I've got 25 other amazing things that I already bought from other people who said it was amazing. So I guess what I really want to get across is you you do you I mean do what you think but for me getting 150 plus emails I get probably in my promotions and that's just my gmail like I have an outlook account as well that I'm not talking about so I probably get and that's just my promotions box I do get others in my main email I probably clean my promotions inbox twice a day, three times a day this past week with a minimum, I'm probably getting a minimum of 120 emails a day. I bet you that's how many I get a day. The next day I get the same amount, maybe some is from the same company, but I'm getting over 100 emails a day during the week before Black Friday. And now Cyber Monday is coming and I'm guessing the same thing is gonna happen. So. It's just a bit much, it's just a bit much. But listen, you do you, and I'm gonna do me, and yeah. Like, life is short, so do what makes you happy. Honestly, if you if it makes you happy to shop and buy things, 
just do it. I'm just giving you my opinion and I feel like um, the amount of emails that we get is a little bit ridiculous. However, in this beauty space, sorry, I'm trying to line eyelids here. There is so much competition and so many brands. I just cannot fathom the number of brands that are out in this beauty space. However, I feel like I feel like there's probably room for everyone depending on what you're doing, like depending on your product, the product that you're that you're offering. You kind of have to you have to compete with the sort of bigger ones. And then you have to be able to get people like me to buy it because truly I have enough stuff. I don't need any more stuff. It's got to be pretty spectacular now for me to buy something going forward. Up until like, yes, you know, this week, this past week, I finally realized what, what sort of the consumerism thing that's going on. It's kind of ridiculous and a little bit gluttonous. So I am going to myself personally, I'm going to be a bit more conscious of the things that I buy and why I buy them. I do not need any more makeup products at all. Uh, skincare I'll refill um, because you know skincare we use I use you know the same skincare every day so I'll go through it and I'll refill it small brands I may do may support I, I can't say for sure because again so much stuff I don't need any more stuff but listen you do you I'll do me there's room for everybody I hope you enjoyed this rant while I was doing my makeup um, and yeah, subscribe. There's a little button down below if you want to subscribe and follow along. I plan to do some more of these sort of TED Talk style videos. And if you enjoy it, please subscribe and let's, let's get together and do some more. Okay. See ya.